everyone and welcome back. Happy Friday if you guys are watching this on a Friday. I am so excited. It's Friday. It's like the first week back from winter break and let me tell you, I think everybody was like, I don't want to. I don't want to. So I am so excited for the weekend. I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming back and spending time with me. I so do much appreciate it. I... So if you sent a Christmas card this weekend, I'm trying to get everybody's cards out to you. They're kind of more like a New Year cards. Just thanking you guys so much for sending in your Christmas cards. So if you have not received a card yet, it's coming. I, I took a little break off for the last week of December and now I'm like, okay, we're back. So I wanted to spend time with my family and we had some things planned. So I have scheduled a timeout to get all that done. So you'll be receiving your cards very soon. So thank you so much. I'm trying to get back to comments and all that. I'm a little bit behind, so hopefully I can catch up. But let's go ahead and talk about the things that I hauled this week from the Dollar Tree. And one thing I really, really love is this. I think this is so pretty. So this is a makeup brush. It comes in pink and it also comes in a very beautiful gold. This is, I mean, it is, it's gorgeous. It's girly and cute and I absolutely love this brush for powder. This is the perfect, the perfect powder brush ever. I absolutely love it. It is just the most fluffy, the most amazing powder brush. This is like my new, this is it. This is my new powder brush. I just love it. It is super fluffy and I think this is definitely worth that $1.25 you guys. It is pretty amazing. Okay, let's talk about the Crystal Waters. They have several new bath bombs out. One that looks like a lip that I'm sharing with you right here. And then one that looks like a champagne bottle. Okay, so it says champagne toast and it actually does kind of smell like champagne. Um, any champagne item that I've ever purchased from maybe like Bath and Body or TJ Maxx or something. So it does have that hint of champagne. It's a very slow, um, low bath bomb so when you put it in it it barely fizzes but it does make the water a very beautiful color and it lasts the whole time I actually had to break it up so uh, it's it is it I always say this is there better out there 100% but I think if you purchased it you're not going to I don't think you're gonna waste that dollar 25 would I repurchase again probably not but if you did pick it up it's not that big of a thing I could take it or leave it is it the best no is it the worst no it's just kind of right in the middle is how I kind of got along with that so that's that and then we will talk about, this is so cute. This is their Bath Confetti by uh, Crayola. I did do a little pedicure. I used it for pedicure. This is really pretty for a pedicure. So I put it in my hot water and what it is, it's just, it is confetti, but they're like little soap petals and they're like little hearts and little, you know, it looks like this. That's what, ooh, there we go. That's what it looks like. So I think it actually works really good. I think it's something fun if your kids, if you do like a little box, a play box for your kids of just like water toys or what have you, or if you do a pedicure, this would be kind of a cute thing to do 100%. I love it. It does come in different colors as well, but I, I and a lot, like a lot, a little goes a long way. So, I mean, the, this is how much I have in there. There's a lot. So just a little, it makes perfect little foot bath or just like having your kids play. It's perfectly fine. It does come in different colors as well. So this is actually pretty good. I didn't have any problems with it whatsoever. Okay, next up we'll talk about the I Fly Smart candles. There's little like travel size candles. They come in all different scents. I did purchase 
all of them because when I smell them in store and in a like when you cold sniff whoa they smell so so good they smell super super strong a few of you guys told me that these come from Walmart which is pretty awesome I, it, I love the fact that Dollar Tree is getting in a lot of things from Walmart Target and stuff like that which is great because I mean heck yeah so I did burn it. I burned it for two days trying to like see whether this would be good. It's more of a bathroom candle because of the size. So I had to put it in my downstairs bathroom, which is pretty big. It's not a normal size bathroom. It's almost like a master, a master suite bathroom. It's, it's huge. I smelt it there. Now, like I have a living room, like it's all big, so I couldn't smell anything. Our master bedroom, I couldn't smell anything in it. So it's definitely for a small to medium sized room, I can smell it. But the only thing, I was smelling more of like the wick, the burning of the candle, more of the candle. So I think if you guys have a candle warmer, you would probably smell more of the scent than the wick. And I have been wanting to get one for a very long time. So I think I'm going to go on Amazon and purchase one. The one I want, they're, I mean, they're around $20. The one that I want is like $50. But everybody has been talking about the warming candle lamps and how they just, bring out more of a scent they're more stronger you don't smell the wick you know the burning of the candle so you guys let me know do you guys have one and do you really think like you can smell the candle better it brings out more of the fragrance in the candle because i think that would be good because you can smell it i just smell more of the the burning of the candle more than the scent so I'm going to try to, I think I'm going to purchase one and see how they do. But you guys let me know if you have one. Do you like it? How do you get along with it? Let me know. Okay. Let's see. Well, let's talk about the Bee Pure. This is their Rose Facial Cleanser. It is pretty little, but I will tell you, if you don't like Rose, obviously, you want to stare at Claire because it definitely smells like a rose, 100%, like 100%. It is a very thick cleanser, which I really love. I thought it was great. I had no problems with it. It's a really good cleanser if you're looking for a travel size cleanser or you just need, you don't like use cleanser very often. This is just a nice little thing to have, especially if you have like preteens or you know, kids are just getting into makeup and skincare. This would be perfect. So I don't think that you're wasting your dollar 25 on this at all. Yes, you're getting little, but a little goes a long way because it's like I said, it's a very thick cleanser. So you can just do like one pump and then wash your whole face. So this can last you a very long time. It really can. So I have no problem with it. I'll continue to use it. And I have so many cleansers and stuff like that. Would I repurchase? I probably will. And there's not a lot of things that I do repurchase. There's some. I can definitely do a video on like what my top things that I always constantly repurchase that I talk about on my reviews, but this is really good. Okay, another thing that we'll go ahead and talk about is the rose petal sheet mask. I really like this because you get six individual like little sheets. So this would be something really good, say winter, you know, it, we, it's harsh on the skin. So if you have like a little dry patch, maybe on, you know, right here by your chin, or maybe underneath your eyes or just, you know, sometimes my dry spot, my dry, some like in the summer, I'll get, it'll be dry right here. So this is perfect. You can just take a little petal and put it right here and give you some moisture back into your skin instead of doing all of that. This is good for under eyes. You can use it all over. Honestly, I love the, it's very versatile, which I really love. It smells just like rose. So again, if you don't like rose, I would steer clear, but be pure, it's pretty good. I mean, most sheet masks are from the Dollar Tree are pretty good. There are the occasions where that's itchy and gross and I don't like, but for the most part, you really can't go wrong with a sheet mask for the most part. Okay, let's talk about the makeup. Okay, so 
This is the Clean Beauty. This is their foundation. So it is the Glow Foundation. You get 0.41 fluid ounces. I picked the nude. There's several shades. When I did swatch it for you guys, it sure looked orange on my hand. But no, it. I have it on today. So you guys let me know what you think. Do you think it's a little orange? I mean, I... Is my skin, I have good, I mean, I do. I, I take good care of my skin, but I feel like it gives me a little bit of a glow. It's very lightweight, which is really good. It's very blendable. Nothing is like caking or coming up or anything like that. So I think this is actually a pretty good foundation for Dollar Tree. Is there better out there? I mean, yes. Is there worse out there? Heck yeah. But this is something that I will continue to use and use up. And I might repurchase. I don't, like, I can only give you my initial week, so I can't be like, I've used it up, you know, that would take me a little while, but for the first week of me using it, you pretty, know, you pretty much know whether you like a beauty product or not, especially a foundation. This one feels very, very lightweight, and I think it's very blendable, but I think it gives you pretty good coverage. So you guys let me know how you got along with any of the products as well to help everybody out. But this is really good and I will definitely be using it. Like I have no problem whatsoever. We'll talk about the three lipsticks that I did haul. They are actually really, really good. The only thing I will say, I have a lip gloss too. Where did the lip gloss go? There it is, okay. So this is the Be Pure um, Clean Beauty. This is their lip jelly and their actual like lipstick. We have a red lipstick and then this jelly like lip gloss. The red lipstick is pretty, it's pretty, I have it on today but it kind of like fades really fast. So I don't know. I'm kind of, I wouldn't repurchase this again because I did just put it on this morning and it's like fading. It's not red. It's, I put a little bit of this lip gloss on top of it, but I don't know. You guys let me know. I don't really like this. I will not repurchase. I don't, I don't like the lipstick. The lip gloss, the lip jelly, I really, really love. It's very beautiful. It does smell like chocolate 100%. So this one I like the lipstick I don't like. And then of course, obviously, you guys are gonna know the Revlon, the Ultra HD Lip Polish. This is great, I love it. This color is so pretty, I did swatch it. This is great, this is wonderful. And then this is their Clean Beauty Lip Color and Blush Duo, which I really, really love when you know companies do that because if you don't like a lot of product, this is, I love the dual and a, a cream products, very pretty. It's great on the lips and I used it a little bit on my cheeks. I love it because it's very blendable and it's buildable as well. So if you're someone who doesn't like a lot of blush, a little is perfect and if you want more, just keep going. It's blendable. Um, I don't even know if you guys can kind of see, but I did use it a little bit today. I don't like a lot of blush. I'm more like a highlight girl, but I use a little, but I really like it. I think this is great. It does come in different colors. I just got the subtle color that come in like really, really bright pink and stuff like that. So this is really good. Okay. I want to talk about something that I hauled from Target. Actually two things. I know I probably need to start doing a second Target review video, but I don't shop there like all the time. I do Target dollar spot hauls and then, you know, that's pretty much what I do there, um, but I can start. So there had been questions, if you watched on Thursday, I put up a new Target dollar spot haul, lots of stuff, and I tried the popcorn maker. Oh, it still smells bad. Okay, so can you already tell? You're like, oh no, Lisa. I think this is caca. It doesn't work. Now this is my opinion. I So this is the instructions. You can do it without any butter, oil, or anything, but I always put a little butter, the little popcorn butter, and you wanna do about um, one and a half tablespoons. 
Easy peasy, right? That's all it says. Then microwave for two to four minutes and boom, you have popcorn, okay? So now, at first I just did it and then I didn't. <laughs> I didn't look, cause that was the instructions, but if you see here, if you look, little right there, they have it folded. Well, Lisa just was busy. I'm like, oh, kids, let's try this. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm like a cool mom. And I set it in like this. I know. Can you already guess? Pop, 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 pop. Like, oh my gosh, my microwave turned into a big popcorn, like, party. And the kids were like, oh my gosh, mom. <laughs> we're stopping and the popcorn's going everywhere. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, let's try this again. So I did the thing and then what I did was kind of put a little bowl on top of it just so it would kind of like pop everything because I didn't, I didn't see this. I still, Lisa was still not seeing that and it burnt the popcorn. I'm like, what the heck? So then my husband was like, what is happening? It smelled, it was bad. It was like, oh my good, like burnt, like charcoal, char, like it was just, it's, it was horrible. So I washed it out and my husband's like, well, you're supposed to, he was like, what's going on? And he read the instruction and he was just looking and he's like, oh, and he saw the little picture like this. Okay. I'm like, oh, okay. I did it again. I was like, watch me. Make sure that I'm doing this right. So he watched me, I did it, everything like that. Put it in for the two minutes. It burnt the popcorn again. So I'm, that was three times. It wasted my popcorn. And that's like, no, wasting money. So I do not like this. I think it's horrible. It's going in the trash. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna take it back. I mean, I've used it. It's so bad, and it just reeks of burnt popcorn now. <laughs> so I would just steer clear. I just need to go get me a popcorn maker, and my husband was like, there's one that you've been wanting, just buy it. And I'm like, yeah, but it's expensive. And he's like, but you, you, you wasted $3. That's $3. Could have went to the popcorn maker. And I'm like, well, oh, true, 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 true. So... That's probably what I'll do. Okay, we had a lot of questions about this. This is their little storage um, sandwich gallon snack quart and snack. I think this is amazing. And for $5 at the Target spot right now. So you can literally, well, just walk on by that. But you can find this. Everybody was like, how do you get, how do you open it? How do you open it? And I usually are really good about opening things. It just didn't dawn on me to kind of, share with you guys it goes like this and then it's individually so you can put your thing your little things in here and then you slide it back so you can see it has a little thing right there and the other one that I hauled to they're all like that so it it opens and then it closes and that is how that's done. Well guys, thank you so much for taking out the time and spending with me. I hope, I just hope that I helped you save some money, especially just don't buy that because that was just a waste of time. But I like when we have good wins at the Dollar Tree. I know sometimes we don't, but it's awesome. I'm loving the Dollar Tree. I'm loving all the amazing things that come into the Dollar Tree. Thank you so much and I, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.